This is Ronnie. This is Ronnie. Ronnie is one of my best. This is Ronnie. Ronnie's my dog and my best friend. I'm trying to hold her like this because she's trying to get away from the camera. My advice to you today is, hey, get a dog. Be selfish, improve your life, and get one of these guys. Now, you might be wondering how exactly can having a dog improve my life? Well, when you get a dog, you actually learn how to be a good person. Having a dog teaches you to put somebody else before yourself. It teaches you that simple thing we all kind of forget these days, talk about but never practice, which is of course, compassion. Now I'm not telling you to get a dog for you know saving a life and go to a shelter and make a difference. You should do those things, but in this video, I'm saying get a dog well for you. When you get one of these guys, and I've had Ronnie for about 12 years now, she's beautiful and I love her. Hey buddy, um, well you talk like that number one, but the main thing is you learn about compassion. You no longer buy yourself useless junk. You don't spend money on things you don't need. You look forward to actually buying this guy something. The second main thing I wanna talk about when you get a dog is you learn how to spend time at home and you learn how to spend time alone, right? How much time do we spend at home? Quite a bit, right? Now, I'm sure a lot of us, we go to the bars, we go to the clubs on Friday night when we have nothing to do. We kind of feel like there's this big deep void in our calendar like, ugh, I got nothing to do, I got no friends. Now, when you get a dog, you start to learn that's actually okay. I used to be the sloppy drunk at the bar that was always looking forward to chase after every girl that would talk to me. But when I got one of these guys, as you can see, they didn't want to talk to me either. When you get a dog, you learn how stupid that is, to be honest. You look forward to not having that last drink, not chasing after that last chick, to not being sloppy. Other people might start to notice that. They might be like, oh wow, what's up with that guy? Why is he going home early? What does he got to do? He's got his life together. As strange as it was, slowly these little things start to improve my way of life. I wouldn't be that creepy dude at the bar. I wouldn't have those extra calories. I would come home early. Rather than staying awake and then waking up at you know, 2, 3 p.m. the next day and wasting my entire Sunday, I'd start doing stuff. I'd work on my comedy. I would you know, work on uh, some emails I had for work that ultimately improved whatever I was doing on Monday when I got back into the office. Now, I know a lot of you might be thinking, uh, you know, our moms aren't gonna let us get dogs or we can't get dogs in our house. Well, I'll tell you something, just do it. Just do it! Back in 2001 or 2002, we brought Ronnie home and my mom was pissed. You know, she looked at me and she, the exact words out of her mouth, I'll never forget, she said, who's going to clean the shit? Those were the exact words out of her mouth. And that anger lasted a grand total of four seconds because, you know, half an hour later, we brought Ronnie back from the shelter. And if you know anything about Indian moms or Indian aunties, when you bring something cute and cuddly about this big and put it in their arms, uh, that anger turns into whatever else. It just disappears, <laughs> all right? So, um, you know, if you're gonna be, you're gonna be in trouble for a little bit, but you know, get that dog, adopt that dog, save that dog, and ultimately, you know, Saving a dog's life will eventually improve your life. You know, I'm not trying to be selfish, but I'm just trying to tell you there are a lot of good things that having a dog can do for you. So get out there, you know, put something else, someone else, another living being before yourself. Have a good time, recognize it's okay to take pleasure in life's simple things. And for those of you who have a dog, I'm sure you already understand, but for those of you who don't, go ahead and get a dog. Bye guys. And this is Kush. I'm allergic to him and I'm gonna sneeze a lot after I make this video, but it's okay.